All right, last test before I do the insulation and full restore on this generator. We'll see if we can get some motion out of this what, 220 volt universal motor. These do run on AC or DC anyway, and I should be able to get half of the rated power out of it. With no load, it won't pull many amps, if any, off this generator. And I've got the light on as an indicator as well. So, let's crank her up. Working. <laughs> the bearing in the motor's dying. can't get any more horsepower into it. <laughs> that motor, just, I just can't do it. Damn it. Trying, it really is. We get more horsepower into it. <laughs> Need more horsepower. It's working though. It's got that distinct smell of warm electrics though. I don't know where it's getting warm, but it's just got, got that warm, old fashioned, I'm working smell to it. But nothing's obviously warm. There's going to be one bad point, I reckon. There'll be one or two bad insulation points that are just getting hot. Let's tension the belt a little bit. That's better. Now let's try it again. happy. It's powering both of them.
doesn't drop much when you load it up either. <laughs> I think it's more belt slippage than anything else. Not really designed to run that way, but well, it works. That's really good. Just got to pull it to bits, clean it up, replace all the uh, cables, and make sure everything's nicely insulated, and give it a good coat of paint. It'll be done. Probably after the Westinghouse, though. I really want to sort the insulation problem out with that and uh, fix it or make it run but yeah it's a good little goer considering it was three quarters submerged in muddy water when I found it <laughs> 